realtors, never anyone's plan A. <laughs> Get ready to chuckle because today we're back at breaking down some of the funniest family guy real estate and housing scenes that you've ever seen. That's right, folks. I'm Mark Magstead, local real estate agent here in San Diego. Let's bring on the first clip. Well, Kevin, it's time to teach you how real blue collar guys pay real bills in real life. See this? It's a mortgage bill. And this is how it gets paid. Kevin James, you gotta love that guy. Been in a couple movies, and then he was on King and Queens, I believe the name of the show is. Mr. Pewdersmith, it's Peter. Please pay my mortgage. Damn it, Griffin. I'm crying, Mr. Pewdersmith. I'm crying. I know you're crying. Act like a man. I can't. I'm not a man. There are times that we are going to need help, and you know, there's certain programs that they'll help work out. They'll allow you to delay a payment. If you have someone that has some family money and you're you're kind of in a stressful situation, you know, during COVID there was some quirkiness, reach out and there are programs that can help, you know, if you are a little bit behind in your mortgage. No mortgage, just like you said. Otherwise, the sad part is, is it would turn into a scenario where you may potentially get foreclosed on and would lose the property. So there are avenues as long as you communicate with the people that are financing your home and or other people that can provide some help. And if you don't pay it, I'm gonna hurt myself and your grandchildren. Stop threatening me. It's not a threat if I do it. It's not a threat if I do it. Okay, okay, I'll pay it. Thank you. All right, now to show you how to pay a utility bill. Hello. Kevin, it's Peter. I really messed up, man. You know, the crazy part about Peter, you know, he's crying for someone to help him with the mortgage. Normally what we advise is if you're comfortable making your monthly payment, great, buy the home. They say that you only want roughly 28 to 30% of your mortgage to come out of your take home. So more or less, let's say you're making 10 grand a month. You don't want 8,000 of that going towards your property. You don't wanna be house poor. Here's to being house poor. So make sure that you have it roughly around 20 to 30%. That way you have money for other things, food, fun, vacations, etc. Good news. I got my first real job as an actual UPS guy. They said I was the last non-robot they're ever gonna hire. We used to have a UPS driver, Danny. Danny, if you're watching, what's up, man? He would drop off a package in the area, but it was always one of those things that either he was so cool that he would always be like, what's up, Mark, good to see you, and I'd be, it feels good. I don't know if that's good or bad because that means that he's dropping a lot of packages off in and around my area and most likely to my house, so that means we're getting too much stuff. But yeah, gotta love the UPS drivers, Amazon drivers as well. That's yeah, great, buddy. You narrowly escaped becoming a realtor. <laughs> Hi, are you the realtor for this property? I am. I blew out my shoulder playing minor league baseball, so now I do this. I know that there's a lot of people that they may be getting close to retiring. They have a lot of a circle of friends, so they go into real estate. Husband, wife teams are big. And or there are a couple people that actually do go to school and get their degree in real estate and have a complete plan of going and selling real estate. But they know kind of the back end, the numbers, the accounting, the investing, the architect side of it. So it helps out. We see a lot of different makes and models in real estate. I'm enjoying the heck out of it. And it really is just like that fun personal touch. It's one of the biggest purchases that you'll ever make in your life. So it's nice to have someone that you know and trust helping you along the way. Realtors, never anyone's plan A. <laughs> I've been selling real estate for about 25 years now. And was it my first choice? No, I had a couple different other jobs and a couple different ideas. But the great part about real estate is the sky's the limit. You can work as hard as you want. You can make as much money as you want. But it also allows you flexibility to attend baseball games for my boys, football games for the boys, staying home if I need to do something, if my wife needs to go somewhere, et cetera. But the hard part is, is that we are always working. Seven days a week, open house tomorrow, new listing, phone calls. And so we are at the beck and call. Is it the job that everyone rolls into? I don't know about that, but that was some pretty good ones. And I also started dating a woman who looks like she actually belongs with me. She has the most negative dating app page I've ever seen. Wants to know where all the good men are. Integrity only. I will not co-sign alone with the not underlined. And a picture of her dog that says, the only man who's never lied to me. Oh, this is great. <laughs> you know, back when I met my wife and prior to, our, our dating app was, was going to the bars and restaurants and having fun and getting out and about. 
meeting them at local sporting events or going to the gym, you know, wherever. So now it's like as easy as set up the profile, boom, swipe left, swipe right. Let me know in the comments below if you've, you've ever met your true love and what dating app you used or what was the, how did you meet? The interesting part about Realtors is that we have access through a lockbox key that we can get into many houses. Well, guys, I'm a real estate agent, I have the key. If you were thinking about cheating or you were doing something, there's many different places and houses that you could go to. Luckily, all of the real estate agents, including myself that I work with, straight and narrow, we show the house, we button it up, we lock that thing up. There have been a couple times that there have been lots of ring cameras and there have been certain funny stories about people doing stuff that they probably shouldn't have. I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> but yeah, straight and narrow, get in, show the house, lock it up and turn the lights off. What is going on in here? Who put price tags on all the cans? And why is everything labeled 69 cents? Griffin Family Grocery is currently under renovation. Please excuse our guests. Tina, <laughs> where are you? Staring at butt from behind a one-way mirror. And why'd you rearrange everything? I just want to find my vitamins. Cupboard four. Now that's cupboard seven. Now our life. I'm not... Is it warmer or colder? Cupboard four. Cupboard four. Ma'am, don't worry. This happens all the time. I'm sure you have your receipt. What? No, I don't have a receipt. Okay, then we're just going to go to the office, call your parents, and send you on your way. <laughs> so I don't know what the heck Peter had planned with this scenario. I mean, there are people that are preppers and the doomsdayers. I think I saw something on Zuckerberg lately that has some sort of a <laughs> something in Hawaii going on where he's got a bunker and full filled with a bunch of stuff. Trust me, we, we have a, a plan B. We have a generator. We have a couple other fun things. You have some food products, some water, but this is kind of going over a little bit overboard, especially with the security guard in your house. So let me know in the comments below your thought on prepping and or hoarding food like that. We obviously witnessed it during COVID, the, the TP. Then I know water was a big thing for a while. You go to Costco, everything's out. So I don't know, plan ahead, but I think keep some necessities, but hopefully we don't ever have to worry about that and go quite as crazy as this. I can honestly say that I never played baseball, just always loved real estate. What about you? Let me know what you do for a living and what was your first career pick. Also, if you have any other funny real estate scenes, please send them my way. Hit the subscribe button and smack that like button for more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching.